What's up guys, this is Spooky. Today I am bringing you an in-depth look at JP and Street Fighter 6. Thank you very much to Capcom for inviting me to their offices to give him a try and show you some of the things that he can do in versus play. JP is the head of an international NGO responsible for many successful investment projects. He is also the man behind Nashell's present prosperity. And he has a cat named Cybell. Now JP's playstyle is about as mysterious as his story is. He seems to have many moves reminiscent of M. Bison's psycho power. His moveset leads to lots of mid-range risk versus reward style gameplay, with many of your knockdowns leading to strong set play and space control. Now the first special move that we will talk about is his Trig Live, which is a down-down input. You can control the range by using light, medium, or heavy punch. You also have control over the EX version. LP plus MP will make two pillars nearby to you, while any combination with heavy punch will make two pillars further away on the screen. This move is used for pushing the opponent away as well as filler in combos. However, the opponent can counteract this move with their driving power, so make sure to mix in your other specials rather than being predictable. His next special move is Stribog, which is a quarter circle forward punch series. This is a very good combo ender and combo tool, although it appears to be very unsafe on block. The EX version guarantees a wall bounce on hit, allowing you to follow up for bigger combos. Following that up, the next move is Departure, his quarter circle back punch series. JP creates a web of psycho power on the screen, which will automatically launch an attack after a set period of time. You can also choose to instead teleport to the location of the web, or you can set off the web's attack early for combos. The EX version is very unique. The button combination determines the placement of the cycle webs, and you can teleport twice, have the webs attack twice, or any combination based on how you would like to mix up the opponent. In this combo example, I show you how flexible the psycho webs really can be by integrating two webs into one combo and utilizing them to really extend my damage. We're nowhere near done talking about the multitude of JP special moves. Up next is Amnesia, which is a very unique strike counter that leaves a ticking time bomb on the opponent. The EX version leaves two bombs on the opponent and launches them high enough to give you an opportunity to follow up with a small combo. Up next is Torbulin, his quarter circle forward kick series. This move has long distance and features mid, overhead, and low follow-ups. In addition, you can fake this move to create deceptive block strings or mix up with his command throw, which we will talk about soon. The EX version is plus on block and potentially you're able to follow up with juggles. Embrace is JP's command ground. It is harder to escape the closer you are to the opponent and is a very good tool to mix in with Torbulin as well as its feints. This move is extremely powerful in combination with his other tools. The EX version does increased damage, really discouraging your opponent from trying to use Drive Impact to defeat your other special moves. JP's level 1 super move, Corno Ball, is nothing special in the damage department. However, it's highly cancelable off of many of his special moves, and you will be able to find tons of ways to integrate this move into your various combos. His most exciting super is the level 2, Lavushka. This move tracks the opponent from full screen and attacks with a predetermined pattern of shadow swipes. During this time, you're able to mix up the opponent or set psycho webs to continue your pressure. His level 3 super is very functional. It is excellent in combos and also tracks the opponent full screen, allowing you to take a risk and attempt to react to fireballs and other actions from the opponent at long distance. However, keep in mind that this is a risk as it is a strike and if it's blocked, you'll be open for severe punishment as well as giving up your 3 meters. Now this is probably a bit obvious if you've watched the entire video, but JP's style will appeal to advanced players the most. He has a multitude of special moves for every situation, and his strike or throw game is greatly enhanced by his ability to set departure after his knockdowns. This can enhance your pressure and it adds the opponent's mental stack as you attack them. 
he does not have very many invincible moves. So you have to escape sticky situations with his strike counter and your solid situational defense. However, so far as a character, he feels extremely rewarding to play. He has many outstanding tools, including the cancelable standing HP, a great long range sweep, and other great tools to keep up close opponents at bay. I think anyone out there who is a zoner at heart will be extremely pleased with this character's moveset. And if you find what you see so far exciting, I implore you to give this character a try immediately when he releases, as he has a lot of depth. And I feel that you monsters out here that are good at this type of character will really explore him to the fullest and show all the many tricks and tactics that he can do, especially post knockdown. In this next section, I will cover Kami and all her new tricks and tactics. First off, her HP HK target combo makes her airborne on hit number 2, which allows for EX dive kick follow ups. She also has a new forward plus heavy kick, and her back plus heavy kick move has been made even easier to use as a tool to launch the opponent in combos. A major overhaul to her playstyle has been added with the ability to charge heavy spiral arrow, heavy cannon strike, and heavy hooligan throw. Hooligan throw especially is quite dangerous now that you can fake the startup with charge or no charge tactics. In addition, a new mid follow up has been added with enough plus frames to follow quite easily. The charge mid follow up is a 2 hit attack that guarantees enough plus frames to connect standing HP even on normal hit. EX spin knuckle also has cross up ability at close range. As usual, her strength will be in approaching the opponent from many angles and her hit confirmed routing is only limited by you, the player and your ability to land the highest damage follow-ups. Kami even has lots of side switch potential in her combos, thanks to how the charge and EX spiral aggro both work in jungles. With exceptional walk speed, anti-air ability for any situation, and several advantage on block attacks, she is one of the most dangerous in-your-face characters of the roster. She also has an easy to learn, difficult to master style as you can work your way into the more difficult and damaging combos and mix-ups as you become better at playing through her style. Personally, Street Fighter 6 is looking like a blockbuster title. Graphically, it is a huge step up both in look and overall style. The new drive rush and drive impact systems add to the flair while being devastating in their own right. They are tactics that not only do you have to use, but you must learn to counter from your opponents, and each player's approach is just a little bit different. Do you prefer to parry, or do you prefer to drive rush back? Each of those small decisions hugely influences the outcome of your matches. With Kami in particular, it really feels like you're in control of your decision making both on offense and on defense, since you have excellent all-around tools and your major weakness is having just a little bit less HP than some of the other characters. So everyone, the match you have seen some of Kami and JP and Duff, let me know what you think. I love that these two characters have a playstyle designed to counter each other, with Kami's threatening in close game and JP's excellent mid range and set play style. It should lead to some extremely intense matches between the two of them. Whose side will you be on when it's time to hit the streets?